Hello, my friends, and thank you for tuning in. Today, I want to talk about a community event that happened about a month ago on Skip to My Nash's Twitch channel. To celebrate the life of a community member who passed away last year, Swordless Sam, Nash hosted a Taunter's Tongue event where people from the stream both cooperated and invaded. This fantastic way of honoring a friend was done with the idea of shenanigans and full-on PvP glory in mind. The Elden Ring PvP community is an active one, from the most competitive and tireless meta-defining streamers, all the way out in many concentric circles towards the fringe of people who just like co-oping with their friends enough to the point where they take the common sense approach of preparing for invaders. Through events like the one Nash hosted at the end of September, and one that he happens to be hosting this weekend, community members can play with their favorite streamers or compete against some of the best players in the game, all in a concentrated environment that's live and direct. Although there is a large gradation of skill levels in the community, the ecumenical nature of Souls PvP lets all come together in a large, thriving, brutal mass of guts, glory, and gaming. And this event is a distillation of that mass. Let me tell you, Invading a player like Nash over and over with any sort of success rate isn't easily done. Although the co-opers were honestly fighting through the levels and not ganking, going into a world that's hosted by one of the best invaders in the game is risky. While I died my fair share of times that afternoon, one of the best moments of the session was this one. The bow is important here. Nash is one of the best streamers out there, and has been one of the most welcoming people in the community. The fact that we got to fight so many times that day was a great honor. Everyone in the stream, for the most part, played with good sport, fun setups, and very little grief. That is until I met this next adorable group. These guys were doing what is called shadow hosting, which is when, in order to facilitate better activity, another group hosts in the same location where people are invading the Taunter Tongue streamer. And unlike the main group that was politely pitting their might against New Game Plus PvE, these guys were lying in wait for the innocent invaders like snakes in the grass. They killed me a number of times. This host, who was so joyously ganking, was none other than Bfuzz. Which is very interesting, because if you know much about PlayStation and community mules, you'd be aware that Bfuzz is partially responsible for the mule file that many, many people use to build their characters. Including myself. So, then I got to thinking, I really don't like gankers, they're kind of scummy, generally incompetent, and play the game in a way that is very boring to me, both from their perspective and from mine. But if one of the people who put countless hours into preparing a tool that I use to PvP every time I boot up Elden Ring on PlayStation wants to gank me... Yeah, it's alright I guess. So thanks for the fights, and thanks for the mules. And these aren't your average gankers either. These are skilled gankers with intimidating setups, tons of in-game knowledge, and tons of experience. Pretty much the definition of a tough fight. This was the only one that I quote won, but I think the real winner was obviously my co-invader. Today I want to show these invasions uncut with some unscripted commentary, and try to be really honest about a few of my mistakes. Later I got them in Noxtella. This invasion was one where the ending was not certain. In Noxtella, you have a lot of area to run into, and while this is a good area for trapping, I probably should have made it much more of a priority to wait for my co-invader. They were, for the most part, not engaging unless there were two people in their world, with a few exceptions. But instead, I leave them into this hallway, try to trap them with the PvE, and I get a nice guard break against Bfuzz. But after I take the repost, I try to throw a pot instead of rolling, and I wasn't paying enough attention to my bleed. GG's. This next invasion, I do have a co-invader, but this might be a good example of a way not to play a 2v2. We have so many legends in this Taunter Tongue run, it's hard to keep track of them all. With Genius level in here, co-oping with Nash. The problem with my approach to this invasion is a problem that a lot of people have when they fight 2v2s. Instead of closing the gap and trying to peel for your teammate. In 
and I was a little bit too late. My co-invader dies, and then I'm suddenly in the middle of a gank with only an ant to help me. This gets a little problematic because I can't finish Genius here, and then Nash comes in with the dual ant setup, and I dare say that he's probably a bit more experienced with it than me. And I do unfortunately, after getting caught here, begin to panic roll a bit after that whiff. But as is very common in Taunter Tongue runs, I go for the salty run back. And this time Nash is using a cold warped axe, which is pretty good, but maybe not quite as good as the, the lances. And in this situation, I get the infamous Thomas Steve as a teammate. And we have a pretty good synergy here where we're pressuring the opponents at different times. And then I get a nice hyper armor moment against Genius. And now it's time for the reverse gank of Nash. This is an interesting moment because I was thinking about fan daggering, but I felt as though maybe it wasn't the right choice, not the right time, and you can settle the debate. How do you feel about throwing a fan dagger to kill one of your favorite streamers and one of the coolest people in the community? Thomas Steve later said, if I mod your stream, I can throw fan daggers at you, which I think is a very fair take. But I was looking for a more cinematic finish after my no scope moment. GG's Nash, Genius, and Steve. In this one, we spawn in against Nash and Neko in a different location. Of course, everybody's favorite Boil Prawn Shack. If you don't know much about Boil Prawn Shack, Boil Prawn is basically the Pontiff of Elden Ring. <laughs> For any of you who like DS3 PvP a lot, that may be a shameful comparison. But in the old days of Elden Ring, before you had Wex Dust, you had to go to particular places to invade. And Boil Prawn Shack was like a PvP hub where people would stand there, taunt or tongue, and try to fight 2v2s, sometimes just full on 3v1 gank. In fact, this was a way that I started engaging PvP in the beginning of the game's life cycle when I was bad and I didn't understand how to invade. And generally, uh, Boil Prawn is just a legendary place. Where unknown amounts of invaders have been harshly ganked. And where countless overleveled phantoms have been bled to death by invaders. So, in the spirit of Swordless Sam, Nash ended the stream at this place. A place where, as I've been told, he enjoyed to battle very much. Thanks very much for watching. Get out there! Turn on the Tonner's Tongue at Boil Prawn. We all could use a little PvP activity now and again.